Hello everyone and welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Alex's way of behaving disheartens Justin and Constantine's jokes disturb the Kiriaki's Christmas. Since they're both alone on Christmas, Harris joins Chad at his table in the bar. Chad makes sense of he wanted a moment alone to ponder every one of the idiotic slip-ups he's made and individuals he's frustrated for this present year. Harris, on the other hand, was hoping to spend the holidays with Ava, but the universe had other ideas. Harris makes reference to a kiss while out drinking with a decent lady. He inquires whether Chad and Stephanie can resolve the issue. Chad responds, not without a Christmas miracle. At the point when Everett enters, Chad acquaints Harris with the one who supplanted him in Stephanie's life. Everett explains that they are only companions, as Stephanie is having some time off from connections. Chad advises him to have a seat then. Chad's loquacious comments keep on making things abnormal. Everett redirects consideration by getting some information about Harris, who educates them regarding his most recent medication case. On the docks, Ava speeds and rubs her arms for warmth. Stefan shows up to help with getting a shipment. They argue until Stefan mentions that he and Gabby were in the hospital. He's rarely seen her so frightened. He's so frantic to get her out of jail he went to EJ for help. Stefan responds that he is also a Demera, but it is irrelevant since he turned him down, angered by Ava's reminder that EJ is the DA. As they keep contending, a truck pulls up. After sacks of flour are stacked on the docks, Ava hits getting a medication bargain on Christmas Day an extraordinary failure. Stefan notes fiends and sellers don't go home for the day, however ideally, narcs do. More, daytime grieves Kamar de los Reyes passing. As Chad takes out his telephone at the bar to keep an eye on his children, Harris moves summoned on his case. Everett requests a ride along, yet Harris proposes he finish up the legitimate desk work first. In order to keep him informed of any developments, Everett gives him his card. After Harris has left, Everett dreams to Chad how certain individuals probably won't converse with a cop about the medication circumstance yet would converse with a journalist. Chad inquires as to whether he's prepared to acquire his stripes. On the docks, Stefan pulls a baggie of pills from a sack of flour. Harris approaches them from behind, thinking about what's happening. At the Kiriaki's house, Maggie and Sarah welcome Justin, who makes sense of Bonnie is in Chicago with Mimi and Emily. Xander shows up with Victoria in her transporter, with stories of their Christmas morning. According to Justin, it appears that he has become a father. More than I at any point might have envisioned, Xander says. Alex strolls in with Teresa, making Justin stop. They hug with solemnity. Maggie is happy Alex came. Alex claims that he decided it was right for Victor. Maggie hands Alex a square gift-wrapped box. Justin squints his eyes at them and Sarah holds Victoria. Maggie thanks everybody for being there. She trusts they can manage their disparities as they go into the new year. Teresa welcomes Brady as he shows up after a pleasant Christmas morning with Tate. In any case, he laments Kristen not allowing him to see Rachel. Teresa is thankful their co-nurturing never ended up like that. Across the room, Maggie gifts Alex with Victor's watch. Alex sincerely thanks Maggie as Justin tenses and turns away. Later, Will, Sonny, and Ariana join the Kiriakises for a video chat. Maggie transfers Philip called, as trusted, however there's no change with Bo. Constantine walks in, howling, happy holidays. He came to bid farewell. He's flying out of Salem this evening and gifts Maggie a 100% Greek-made decorative liner. In the Kiriaki's living room, Brady Maggie and Justin sit on the couch with their backs to a phone on the table. Sarah and Alex Teresa Zander are standing behind them. Justin pours grappa as he gives an impromptu speech in Victor's honor. Maggie requests that Constantine get the ball rolling in Greek. In the midst of exasperated looks from the others, Constantine makes an interpretation of his toast to, may his memory be timeless. For Victor. Secretly, Xander tells Sarah he's happy Constantine is getting back to Greece. A piece of Sarah is, as well. 
In the corridor, Constantine tells Teresa he's not really leaving town. He intends to be back in the house this evening, as a matter of fact. As the family drinks in the parlor, Alex weeps over composition out Christmas cards to thank the representatives for their diligent effort. Aren't there checks enough? He is criticized for his attitude, and Maggie reiterates that she ought to assist him in running Titan. Xander believes it's smart. He could even provide advice. Right, I'll simply take counsel from the ex-groundskeeper, Alex sneers. Xander pronounces he was a preferred president over Alex will at any point be. In the passage, Teresa asks Constantine to disappear. However, he has different plans and purposefully moves his lower leg. Teresa expands over the sound of crunching bones. Xander and Brady each take one of Constantine's arms to assist him with sitting in a seat. In the family room, Alex and Xander's quarreling is intruded on by Constantine's shouts from the passage. Pretending to have fallen on the stairs, he limps to the living room. Alex hatefully inquires as to whether he can trust this. I don't know I do, Justin distinctly shares with Alex. Sarah takes a gander at Constantine's lower leg, which doesn't give off an impression of being broken, yet is enlarged. She proposes he get X beams in the first part of the day. He'll need to defer his flight. Maggie will have Henderson set aside up a space for him. Teresa feigns exacerbation and afterward asks Justin how he's doing. He shares how far off Alex is acting, which is miserable for him. Teresa realizes Alex loves him as a dad. The shock simply hasn't worn off. Nothing has transformed, she guarantees him. Yet, everything seems to have, Justin sighs. As far as he might be concerned, yet not really for me. His heart lets him know that Alex is his child and consistently will be. Brady leaves with Xander and Sarah, who take a particular Victoria for the ride. Before Alex leaves with Teresa, he says, Happy Holidays, Justin, and expresses gratitude toward Maggie for having them. Justin murmurs and afterward gets ice for Constantine's lower leg. Maggie destroys over her endeavors settled not working. Constantine's expressions of help her to remember what Victor would agree. Next on Days of Our Lives, Ava and Stefan cover their tracks, and Wendy could associate with an impossible source. Kiriaki's Christmas, Teresa's Responsibility, Ava Flips, Chad's Odd Date. Days of Our Lives uncover that the Kiriaki's family will assemble for Christmas supper. However, Alex Kiriaki's and Justin Kiriaki's will experience some awkwardness. Days of Our Lives features Teresa Donovan is tormented with responsibility. Constantine Melunis has a stunning declaration. Ava Vitali goes crazy on Stefan DiMera. Additionally, Chad DiMera has a strange dinner date. Days of Our Lives Kiriaki's Family Christmas Supper DOL uncover that the Kiriaki's family will assemble for Christmas supper. Be that as it may, there will be a miserable ponderousness among Alex and Justin. Days of Our Lives Kiriaki's Christmas, Teresa's Culpability, Ava Flips, Chad's Odd Date. Obviously, Maggie Horton Kiriaki's is normally the peacekeeper and the person who offers useful tidbits. Notwithstanding, Maggie may be excessively consumed with her missing Victor Kiriaki's. DOL, Teresa Donovan's Responsibility. On fans can anticipate that Teresa should be consumed with culpability. In Salem, Teresa's sins are causing great harm to a number of people. However, Teresa feels remorseful. But what will Teresa do about it? Concerning Teresa, Constantine makes a shocking announcement at the Kiriaki's family Christmas dinner. Ava Vitali flips out Days of Our Lives reveals that Ava will be awaiting a Clyde shipment. Ava is as of now anxious. Likewise read D.O.L.D. Mara siblings join together, Chad joins E.J. and Stefan in Clyde End Mission? Thus, when Stefan appears and lets Ava know that he went to E.J. Mara for help, the previous crowd princess totally goes crazy. Stefan could attempt to console Ava. Be that as it may, Ava is tense and in view of Clyde Weston, she will stress over her child trip Johnson's life.